So, how is it going everyone? My name is Arkin. I hope you're doing, you know, pretty fucking good. Like, I hope you got those good vibes going on for you. So, this is my first video on my channel. But what the hell, but... This is actually my first video on YouTube. And, uh, basically in this video, I'm going to be breaking down something I made a few many months ago called From Ashes. And the whole definition of From Ashes is a dude with a gun on some rocks which are on fire. Like, that's the best I can define it. Um, and we're going to be breaking it down. And I'm going to be making jokes, it's going to be chill. I'm not going to show you guys how I did it. And, uh, you know what? I don't even want a monologue anymore. So, let's just get right into it. So this is From Ashes. So we'll actually just start things off just by making like a completely blank document with fuck all in. And that was, you know, just to start off, we all start somewhere, I start here, blank document, whatever. So from there I literally moved on to like put my first image in there. And it was literally just of rocks. Fuck rocks, I don't smoke crack! I literally kept the bottom half of it. I said fuck, fuck the top half. Bye, have a great time. After this, uh, I found this image of a man. I, I don't know if he's about to jump or if he's just happy. Help me. Uh, but I found an image of some dudes standing on some rocks. I just got rid of the top path. <gasps> so I literally just did the same thing I used on the left side of the foreground. I just copied the image. I just, I just cut the fucking guy out of his picture again. So I threw a hue and saturation layer in. Um, just so they kind of merged into one colour together. And then I kind of did that for the foreground anyway. Like I was just like, fuck it, let me just, let me just give everyone a human saturation layer. Everybody get the um, I got a colour balance layer and I kind of like tinted it kind of bluish. Um, Cause that was kind of the tone I was going for at this point. After this, um, I just realized like, <laughs> like I still don't have a background for this image. So I bought the, image, the first image back. Um, and I basically just used like the sky part of the first image, so I was literally like, okay, right, okay, I'm just gonna keep it then. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'm just gonna keep this as the background. Uh, but at this point, like coming back to it, um, I don't know, like the perspective wasn't really there between the foreground and the background. So I literally just found a brand new image, like of some mountains and shit, uh, and kind of like an evening sky going on. And I was like, like, dude, this. Like, this is so much better, so, like, I just threw that in. I then looked at the image and then realized that, like, Minecraft skylines don't exist in real life. So, I used a layer mask to basically blend the image in. After I was done blending and b***ing and b***ing, uh, I literally just decided to, I don't know, darken it a little bit. Because I want kind of a darker tone for the rest of the image after throwing it in the sky. So, I just hit the layer with an exposure. And it, it, I don't know how it even got better than when it first went in, but it was starting to look better every time I darkened it. And at this point, I was literally just considering just fucking fill the whole page in with a solid black colour. Okay. I then basically decided to, I don't know, just kind of work some more with distance really. Um, so I got a white solid colour and I just painted like really lightly, or like a, I don't know, like a flow of like 5%, just over like the mountains in the background. And that was just kind of giving like an ambient fog effect, so they didn't look so dark. What I also did is, I did throw um, a hue and saturation layer at the rocks. Um, so I just took some of the colour out of the rocks, just to make them look further away. And then I basically decided, like, because I made the background just dark as shit, um, I had to match the same colour with the rocks at the front. So, uh, I used an exposure layer, uh, and I also used, like, a levels layer, um, basically just to darken it to the same point that the background was. And because, like, every single thing I do to the front rocks, I literally have to do the same fucking thing to the rocks at the back. So I literally just fucking did that. And at this point, I was like, you know, like I need someone in this picture. And then... Well... I'm a drop on these shit here like a fucking piano! This dude is badass. He is intimidating as shit. You are his fucking piece of shit! I then threw both a color balance layer and an exposure layer onto the guy. And the color bands like immediately sunburned this guy's skin. And I used it to basically like tint him um, sort of like to a reddish orange color. And after I did that, I just kind of thought to myself like, this dude is wearing night vision goggles that don't even work. But what the like, hell, but... If you were to wear these goggles, like here's what you'd actually see. Yeah, I know, fuck all. You would see nothing because the goggles aren't even on. But then I decided, um, I don't know, just to turn the goggles on because I thought it would be kind of cool. And uh, I actually colored them blue with a hue and saturation layer. 
And if you didn't know I colored them blue, you know, you, now you know. But I decided, I don't know, like, I just don't like how light the image is. Like, it just looks so light. I wanted something darker. So, I just, I don't know, we're just stuck in a time loop of just darkening shit. Like, we're, gonna, we're just gonna end up with a, you know, that black screen at the end. I just threw an exposure layer on it, um, and I just darkened the rocks uh, quite a lot, just because I wanted, like, a different time of day. Uh, and I kind of was going with a new idea with this. I just made a new exposure layer, and then I just threw it on both of the rock piles at the back. I did the same thing with the actual guy who has too much equipment on him. Uh, I made another exposure layer and then darkened him a little bit just to match how I was darkening every fucking thing inside. And then believe it or not, <laughs> it like didn't fucking work after two times of hitting this guy in the head with an exposure layer. So I then threw another one at him, square in the face, just fucking slap bang. <laughs> You, you're finally awake. Um, and this exposure layer actually wasn't for like brightening him or making him darker. This one was actually just for adding some shadows to him. I just added one more exposure layer, and that was just to kind of add some shadows I missed around mainly his arm and his leg. But I still had some shit to do and some shit to fix on this guy. And like, if you actually zoom in to the image I used, he has like a blur effect on him. So to fix this, I basically just went over the image by making a new layer, which was not an exposure layer, thank fuck. And I just used the clone stamp tool, and I basically just started piecing back parts of the gun, uh, just by copying other parts of the gun that weren't blurred. So after I did that, like, like a bunch of fucking times, um, I then moved on to what I was going to do next with the image. So I threw a hue and saturation layer into the environment and I actually painted like a soft orange haze and I just thought, you know, like this is sick, like it's starting to have a bit more colour now. I then basically like duplicated the haze effect um, and I just liked it so much in the background, I just thought, why don't I just like put this shit in the foreground? And dude, it was working so well, like the image was finally starting to have some fucking colour up in here, like it wasn't all like this depressing ass grey anymore. Literally the next thing I did, I thought, we need some more action up in here. I'm just looking at a man on some rocks. So literally the next thing I did is, I just got a fire image and I just fucking slapped that on there. And I really liked that because it was bringing, you know, more color and something else to the image that wasn't just like still. I then set the blend mode of the layer to screen and that was just to like get rid of all the black in the background of the fire. Uh, and then what I did is I basically just got a layer mask and I wanted the fire to look like it was coming from inside the rocks. Like, I don't know, like there was some some shit that happened in. I then just became like a fucking pyromaniac and I just got another fire image uh, and I actually put this one on the other side just to kind of have like a balance of the two. And I set this one to screen as well. But then I was like, oh right, <laughs> the two different fire images I picked, like they're, they're two different colors. So instead of using like a human saturation, I literally just got an exposure layer and I was like, the left fire is brighter than the right fire, so I just brightened the right fire up a little bit, and then... Oh lord, it's time for the fucking highlights! So, I got a new hue and saturation layer, I put it over the rocks, I just went to town, uh, and I painted some highlights for the fire on the rocks. And then I was there and I was like, I can make this even better, and all I did was, I made a new solid colour, set to linear dodge, gave it like an orange colour, and after I basically like softly painted uh, like over the fire, it had such a good look to it, like the highlights, the glow, but then I quickly realised, oh right, if I painted highlights on the rocks, I need to paint highlights on this dude as well. No, 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 no. So I literally just made another hue and saturation layer, and grabbed the fucking brush, uh, and I just went to town painting highlights on him, and it was so enjoyable, and it looked much better now that, you know, he had some colour on him as well. But then the highlights just didn't look as bright. Um, because I looked at the fire and it was pretty bright. And how close he was to it. Like, he's gonna burn himself. Yeah! I just made an exposure layer. I copied the layer mask to the new exposure layer. And I just turned it up and it just made the highlights a lot brighter. I then painted uh, a second set of highlights on the guy. And this wasn't like rim lights or anything. This was just like a, like a kind of like a soft haze I painted on him. And then I basically had the idea of like... Just trying to make it more like cinematic so at least just made another human saturation layer but this time i put it behind him and i had a flow of about five percent i just really softly painted behind him and it actually looked like really good so after i was done making highlights for the fire 
I basically then had to go and make highlights for the sky. <laughs> so I made another human saturation layer, but I colored it towards the color of the sky, and I was going like rampant on this. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. And then after, um, it looked really good because there was just like this good balance of coloring. And it was cool because it literally just brought the whole thing closer together. I then completely forgot about the highlights on the gun, so I did actually quickly add those in as well. And then to make the highlights pop just that one last time, I basically just copied them, moved them behind him, and then I just painted really thinly a brand new layer, kind of just giving off like a small haze. And it was sick because it just gave that really good cinematic light bounce effect. And then I thought like, his night vision goggles still aren't on. <laughs> and there isn't a lot of contrast even with the other coloring now. Because like, now that I've added glows for everything, the blue color just looks kind of shit. So I just fucking slapped another solid color linear dodge layer onto that just to make it so much more vibrant. And honestly, like, I just love the contrast that this light blue has. So I think it looks really good now. And I'm just glad we fixed this dude's night vision for it. You know, so he's not just like stumbling around in the dark just trying to fucking find the light switch or something. Fuck! 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 Oh! I then really quickly also added uh, the highlights from the blue glow because I tried to make it kind of realistic in how the lighting looked. So I basically just made a brand new human saturation layer, which was basically the same color as the night vision goggles, and I just painted a few brief highlights on the guy. At this point, I was just like on the warpath and just make everything in the image just start glowing. But I was actually looking at the sky, and I don't know, the sky just seemed a bit too dark for the highlights it was casting. You're a smart motherfucker, that's right. So I was like, I have an idea. I've used it before. Why just not make a new solid color? And I did that. I just made a new solid color, set it to linear dodge, and just softly painted over the sky. And this, like, like I'm always gonna say it, like, it just enhanced the sky so much more. I then basically copied over this effect to the left side of the screen where most of the sunlight was coming from. And actually at this point, I was just so satisfied with how it turned out. Like I was just so pleased with what I was able to come up with and I just felt like it was done. I didn't really need to add anything else to this. So I then, at this point, just moved past that and I just went on to post-production effects and I then threw in a layer of some particles and I first put these around the night vision goggles and when I actually threw this layer in, um, the particles were kind of all over the place so I basically made the new layer mask and I just kind of cut nope. out parts of the particles that just weren't in the direct light of the goggles. Uh, the layer by default came in like an orange tint and I kind of need the blue one so I just threw a human saturation layer in and I just slightly tinted the color of it just to be more bluish. I just fucking slapped a brand new particle layer into the middle of the image and then just used the layer mask to basically just paint away areas that weren't around the light source like the fire or the sky and then the last thing to do was basically just to tint it the same color as the fire was which had just more of an orange tint to it. So the last thing I did, the last layer, I just threw another hue and saturation layer out there, tinted it to more of an orange color, turned up the saturation a bit. After this, I basically just finished just by slapping a camera hey, roll on. That's pretty good. <laughs> and I was basically just done at this point. And like, I was really pleased with how it turned out. Like, I really liked making this. I've even really enjoyed like just breaking down how I made it. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, you know, like watching me, I don't know, make jokes, entertain you, break down how I did it. Like, I know I swore a bunch of times, I'm sorry, that's just how I talk. I just like to swear on every other sentence. But I said, fuck the top half. Yeah, I know, fuck all, you would see nothing because the fucking slap bank. Yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed. It was fun breaking it down. And, uh, you know, you can just go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, you know, tell me if you liked it, if you enjoyed it. You are the shittiest YouTuber. Your videos are garbage. You know, just check out that subscribe button down there, you know, just, just saying that. You know, there's a there's a nice little like button down there, just like slap that <laughs> <on my head. laughs> But I just like, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was really fun breaking it down. And I'm working on some stuff right now. I'm going to put some more videos out there. But for now, I'll catch you guys in my next video. And uh, yeah, just, just take care. And I'll see you guys later.